So now you will see um, we have done with this notation. So what I will do is maybe I will just delete this notation. I will clear um, or maybe okay, so I will change it from here. So I don't want this notation. So I'll click on no and then I'll click on the new notation. So then definitely so I would like to change the notation. Um, maybe I'm not interested. So there are different ways I'm trying to show you what are the ways that you can so you see when I um, delay this inflation so now you see it's not in the different rhythms. So suppose um, you created the mesh and you found it in the treasure, but you just want to use it from your So how you can play with that one? So you need to click on this mesh inside method and now it will ask you to okay, select your geometry. So you will select this you know, this body. And click here. So at, at first you need to select here and then click this and click on apply. So then you see it's selected on body. Um, the surprise you can keep that one as this. So method if you use automatic, see how it goes. Um, so then it will create some automatic match. But there are different options. Um, if you see the last two videos, so last two tutorials, so then you will get the detailed information from there. So the mesh is created. But if I see, say you need to click on the mesh. So you see it's um, not dead. So click on this automatic mesh. Select here this method. And you see there are different options. Date, hex, multi-zone. So you can select date. And this is the best conforming. So in this week I will explain what is best conforming. Uh, so click on generate mesh. And then you will see um, the mesh is generating now and look here is some first damage that is done click on this mesh look this is the tetrahedral so uh, we have used the best conforming method so what I said I'm going to discuss it today um, so if you see that um, the mesh looks pretty much good and you see we got 40,000 yards and about point two million elements so, um, in this case, if you see the orthogonal coordinate, the minimum orthogonal coordinate is 0.16, so that's not too bad. Yeah, so that is the key. But if you see, look here, we got very fine mesh here, so we can't easily you know, um, re you know, remove that very bad mesh from this part. Actually, we need to play with this thing on the next side. The, you know, the difference yeah, between the minimum and the max size that will increase the number of nodes that you will have. So that I will explain to you during the class. Um, I actually wanted to show some techniques in this video. So what I said, we deleted the inflation. So now once we deleted the inflation, how we can create some more fine mesh here. So there are some other techniques um, that you can apply for your future study. You can click on mesh. If you click on inside, you see this side. So click on this side, and then you see this um, edge here. So you can remember we have four different selection methods. So I'll select this edge. I'll click on this, and I'll select the other. You need to press Control. So you see, so we selected these two edges. Um, if you click on Apple here. See, we selected two edges, and we'll put some options like number of divisions. So we'll define how many we'll divide this edge in maybe in hundred divisions or two hundred divisions. So let's put uh, maybe a, maybe two hundred divisions. So that means now it will be divided into two hundred sections, one hundred sections like that. So something like that. And if I click on generate match, then you see. How it looks like. We actually need some fine mesh here. Okay, because we're going to go by the complex flow we have this airport. Um, so, you know how it goes. And then if you click on this mesh, so you can see that we have some more fine mesh. So, you see how fine it is. Um, it should be like that. So, if you click here, you can increase this number maybe 
thousands of like a before that um like me king the bulletin number of knowledge is forty six thousand um so we changed this number two hundred to one thousand <laughs> so it was more four five six and if you click here generate range so definitely it will take more time and it will increase the number of knowledge the number of elements so let's see I'll need to wait a little bit to see the progress here. So we have total eight cases. So already done two. So let's see, it's doing a pretty major task. And you can see this tag here. Like uh, if there is any tag you can match them to be given. So let's see, it's almost done. Yes, it is. Um, so in that way you can create create some um, very fine match near the slippers which some option is saying that there is sagging click on this is sagging and remember we had very small section here um here especially this edge so we didn't put any Before doing that, you need to go to the insert again. Inside, then select this one. Then it's control and just drop it to your mouse. You see, it's going to the green. This is so click on apply. Maybe use the number of divisions. Um, use maybe check your 50. Just 50. So now it is in that range. Now it will also create some fine edge there. So there's the other way that um, how we can do some is sizing, especially if you need some fine edge in a specific portion of your tag. When it is a uh, complex tag, you will actually progress in the tree. So you can use this technique. And especially tetractor um, is good for irregular geometry and the hex magic regular geometry with no bends, no curve, no symmetricity. And so now let's see if I um, take the mesh, uh, click on this mesh, you see it's much much better. And see the quality, it's gone fine. Okay, I said it's not that bad, um, but it's good, um, but not very good. So we need to refine the mesh in uh, this section. And if you want to see the vortex here, then you need to create a channel here and you need to do some block mesh insulation. Um, I'm not going to share this now. And another thing is for the mesh maker, you will see that apart from the Detroit, there are different, uh, there are different options like hex domain. Um, yeah, there are other options you see like the sleep mesh, multi zone. Yeah, so we're not going to do all of those things. Um, for the pass component, there are another pass independent. So, whether it is pass independent, that what I did uh, actually previously in the algorithms that I will explain. I already uploaded some videos. So, in that video, I'm not sure you have seen, you see my slide of pass independent and pass component. You can get the idea from there. Now, um, if you want to check the mesh and um, where is bad mesh or the where is the good mesh. So um, you can go to this mesh quality, click on this mesh, where is the quality, um, I already selected the quality, but the quality. So you see, um, the median orthogonal quality is at 45 something. And I say, if it is 1, this match the max here, it's 49, so this is the good. So I will click on this, um, say, so you see. It is showing you some sense. So if you didn't notice that, 
wall of these cells it is very good it is very close to one and then if i click here you see this cells this is also very good because for all of the cells the quality is 0.88 and you see it's 0.78 for this cells so we have almost all of the measures quality is more than 0.5 this is for 0.5 this is like 0.44 um, so all of this image so maybe 98 percent measure here and the quality is now uh, it is you see you can click here 0.446 and we have some of the image if you click here you see all this image it's not good actually so this is like 0.16 see this mesh it is actually not good if you look there it's not a very good to try um so as basic here so what i'm saying when you create a lot of mesh very fine you can give it some bad sense so you see the size is different completely this one different it looks everything different so for due to this that sense maybe uh, experience some reverse flow uh, sometimes you may have some issue with the comparisons maybe you are still not sure what is comparisons so that we will discuss in our other class so in that way you can change the image so it will show you which cells are good which cells are bad right and the first one is more so that means if you go this way like close to one that means very good experience and if you go this way it's bad so now um, once you have this and then you can just uh, put it down and if you want if you click on it then it will show you the this colors okay so now maybe um, there are some other options so you can check and especially where they created the information um there is some options this is called the section plane so you can click click here and you can just draw a line the vertical like this um, it will show you the, the section plans. So you see, this is not that most clear from here. So this is the clear view. So if you click here, so it will actually show you um, the, the mesh. You see how your detrain drums looks like. If you want to see near the wall, that means the off one, um, you see how it looks like. So that's just some options that um, we can see the inside view of our mesh that we are generating so what I said um, especially you need to every like and there are different options like the maker sizing you know the control inflation everything is here that you can do suppose you generated this mesh but um, you don't want to use this you want to clear it to go to mesh clear generated data Okay, and then you see there is no more mesh. So you can move it. So that's something, and during the class, I'll show you some more techniques.